<coughs> Thank you for affirming my awesomeness. <laughs> uh, you know, women in my generation were not uh, encouraged to toot their own horns. That's why I'm letting you do it for me. Uh, seriously, over the last seven years, I've had the opportunity to be on the stage a number of time, times sharing uh, sometimes very personal thoughts, observations, and uh, feelings. And I do this not only as a creative exercise, but because developing original material, whether comedic or dramatic, allows me to examine my guiding principles. And, uh, and perhaps just as important, it allows me to let somebody in this audience every time I speak, to know that they are not alone. You are not alone. I've made some of you laugh, I've made some of you cry, I hope I've made some of you think. And receiving applause and affirmation for my work is gratifying. And I also find it gratifying as I approach 60, oh, um, to look back over my life and see how far I've come. Uh, as they say, growing old is inevitable, growing up is optional, and growing up has gotten a really bad rap, people. Uh, growing up doesn't mean you can't have fun. Growing up doesn't mean losing your childlike qualities of curiosity, joy, trust, and wonder. It means letting go of childish attributes that are associated with fear and Powerlessness. And as our opinion of ourselves as we grow older comes to depend more and more on how we are operating within the context of our maturely chosen paradigm of integrity instead of what others think, we operate from a foundation of strength that is increasingly difficult to shake. Our power our awesomeness becomes clearer, not only to ourselves, but to others. So thank you for affirming my awesomeness and back at you. Uh, that said, growing up uh, doesn't happen overnight. Most of us have to clear out uh, lots of emotional pain from the past and let go of uh, some pretty messed up ideas about how the world and we are supposed to be. Oh, ooh, I just did that Trump thing. Ah! Strike that. It takes sustained effort to make significant changes in one's operating system. And the reason most people don't change is because it's a lot of hard work. The results can be slow in coming in, and the farther you get, the more work you see there is to be done. Uh, the upside is that once you've gotten some success under your garter belt, <laughs> Uh, your confidence in the process grows. You set each goal with more expectation and eventual success. It becomes more of an adventure than an onerous chore, more of an epic lifetime <laughs> journey than a rocky road that you have to crawl over on bloody knee to get a sip of water. Because now you can start to envision a crystal clear sparkling lake and the mere thought of it invigorates each step. Eventually you realize you've been swimming in it all along. So don't give up. As we approach the new year and our minds turn to resolutions, let's remember to set challenges that challenge us, but aren't such a reach that they leave us feeling hopeless. Make those destinations more of a sweet dream that you contemplate while resting along whatever leg of the journey you're in right now. And always, always keep an eye out for that tiny, perfectly ripe, wild strawberry that's hiding in the grass nearby, the birds that swoop effortlessly overhead, and the leaves that are rustling in the breeze all around you. Call out to others who may be struggling on their way. Invite them to rest a while and drink from your wine skin. Share your stories, 